Hey Skyless friends, welcome back to Skyless channel. We are not going to waste any time. Let's get right into this video. So this is the camera I'm using today to take Skyless headshots. If you don't have a camera, don't worry. iPhones work perfectly fine. But today I am using my Sony A6000 camera to get these headshots popping. So first thing you want to do is find a solid area to take pictures in front of if you have a backdrop even better like the one that we had put up from Amazon check that video out if you haven't already you don't want anything distracting in the back of your photos you want your little model to be the main point of focus when someone is looking at her pictures Also remember that your child, well Skylar's three, so your child may be the same age, a little younger or a little older, and they move around a lot. <laughs> so I try to create as a narrow a space as possible and give her instructions to keep her hands still and not do these little wiggle dances, but they're so cute. You gotta let them, you know, be them at the same time so it's a fun environment. I ended up putting tape on the floor so she can stand on it. For lighting, we are using this ring light by Newer. If you do not have a ring light, you can use the good old sunlight. To get the pictures that I'm trying to get, I do change a setting on my camera. So this is my camera and I set it to take uh, multiple continuous shots by pressing this button and go into my shooting mode. So there's low, high, and mid. I'm gonna do mid. And this takes multiple images at one time for your moving toddler. So another thing that I do is I'll give the agency images of her with her hair down and with her hair up just for some versatility shots so they can see her face more. I put sky in neutral tone clothes, tans, whites, browns, even denim, lighter tones as well just because they show better in the photos. And while we're at it guys like this video subscribe hit that bell so you are notified every time we post a video also let me know in the comments if you are looking to get your child into child modeling or if you are already in child modeling and what your experience is So now we're gonna take some shots of her with her hair up because I believe I got a couple good ones with her hair down. And her agency requires images of her every month, every four to five weeks, because these kids grow so fast and you gotta make it fun, you gotta make them laugh or they will hate doing this because it does happen pretty often. And we're all done, good job, babe. 